Hey there, friends. I'm really pumped up because we're diving into something that can seriously make 2024 your best year yet. So why the excitement? Well, we're talking about Stoicism, a philosophy that's not just some old school idea, but a powerful tool to make our lives better right now. Ever felt like there's something missing? Like there's a gap between where you are and where you want to be? That's where Stoicism steps in. It's like a life upgrade, a way to hack into a more fulfilled and meaningful existence. And guess what? We're not just here to chat about it. We're here to show you how to kick off 2024 on a high note. Now, why should you stick around? Because, my friends, we're about to tackle those things you need to kick to the curb. Yes, you heard it right. Eliminate. We're not just talking about setting goals and making resolutions. We're diving deep into the nitty-gritty of what's holding you back. Think of it as a kind of spring cleaning for your mind and soul. So, buckle up because by the end of this video, you'll not only understand Stoicism, but also have a roadmap to cut out the unnecessary noise and make this year one to remember. Ready to kick off 2024 with a bang? Let's get started. All right. Let's dive into the core of Stoicism. At its heart, Stoicism is like a life manual, offering some straightforward principles to help us navigate the ups and downs. Picture it like this. Imagine having a compass that guides you through the storms and sunny days of life. That's what Stoicism brings to the table. So, what are these key principles? First up, We've got the idea of focusing on what we can control and letting go of what's beyond our grasp. It's about understanding that while we can't control external events, we have the power to control our reactions and attitudes. It's like saying, hey, I can't control the traffic, but I can control how I react to it. Another pillar of Stoicism is the concept of embracing the present moment. Instead of dwelling on the past or worrying about the future, Stoicism teaches us to fully engage with what's happening right now. It's about savoring the present like a delicious meal rather than rushing through it like a checklist. Now, why bother with all this Stoic stuff? Well, here's the magic. It has a profound positive impact on our well-being. By adopting these principles, we start to build a mental fortress against stress, anxiety, and unnecessary drama. Stoicism isn't about suppressing emotions. It's about understanding them and responding with wisdom. Think of it as a mental workout, just like hitting the gym to strengthen your muscles. Stoicism is the gym for your mind. It helps you develop resilience, a strong mindset, and a sense of inner peace. When life throws lemons your way, Stoicism hands you the recipe for making lemonade with a smile. In a nutshell, Stoicism is your life compass, guiding you through the chaos and bringing you back to a place of calm and clarity. It's a practical philosophy that's not just about understanding, but about applying, because in the end, the proof is in the pudding, or should I say, in the way you navigate and thrive in the journey of life. Let's break down how Stoicism isn't just a philosophical concept, but a hands. On guide for your everyday life. Imagine it as having a set of tools that you can use to navigate the twists and turns of your daily routine. First off, applying Stoicism in your daily life is like putting on a pair of glasses that changes your perspective. It's about tweaking how you see and react to things. Take, for example, those unavoidable traffic jams. Instead of getting frustrated and stressed, Stoicism suggests a shift in focus. Use that time to listen to an interesting podcast or enjoy some calming music. It's about turning an inconvenience into an opportunity. Now, let's talk routines. Stoic principles seamlessly fit into your day, today habits. Ever find yourself overwhelmed with a never-ending to-do list? Stoicism encourages a mindful approach. Instead of stressing about the length of the list, break it down. Focus on what you can tackle now, be present in each task, and watch the stress levels drop. 
Incorporating Stoic principles means weaving them into your interactions, too. Take a moment before reacting to a challenging situation. Instead of an impulsive response, apply a stoic pause. It's like pressing the pause button on a heated conversation, giving you time to collect your thoughts and respond with wisdom. Consider morning rituals. Stoicism suggests starting your day with a moment of reflection. Instead of jumping straight into the chaos, take a few minutes to set positive intentions and gratitude. It's about setting the tone for the day, creating a mental shield against unnecessary stress. In essence, Stoicism isn't a lofty idea confined to philosophy books. It's a toolkit for your everyday life. It's about tweaking your mindset, finding opportunities and challenges, and infusing wisdom into your routines. So, as you navigate your day, think of Stoicism as your trusty guide, helping you steer through the waves of life with calm and resilience. Let's shine a light on those habits that act as roadblocks to a stoic lifestyle. Think of them as little saboteurs that sneak into our daily lives, hindering our path to tranquility and well-being. First up, we often find ourselves caught in the web of constant complaining. It's like a habit we didn't even realize we picked up. Stoicism encourages us to break free from this cycle. Complaining not only adds negativity to our mindset, but also hinders our ability to see solutions. By curbing this habit, we open up space for a more positive and constructive approach to challenges. Another sneaky intruder is the habit of procrastination. We all do it from time to time, right? Stoicism nudges us to recognize the true cost of procrastination. It's not just about delaying tasks. It's about delaying our own growth and progress. Breaking free from this habit means taking small, intentional steps each day, aligning with the stoic principle of focusing on what's within our control. Let's talk about the comparison trap. In a world fueled by social media, it's easy to fall into the habit of constantly comparing ourselves to others. Stoicism urges us to break free from this cycle, emphasizing that our worth is not determined by external benchmarks. It's about appreciating our journey, embracing our uniqueness, and letting go of the need for constant validation. Now, why is it so crucial to bid farewell to these habits? Picture them as anchors weighing down your ship. By eliminating these negative habits, you're essentially cutting those anchors loose, allowing your ship to sail freely towards a more stoic way of living. In the grand scheme of things, breaking free from these habits isn't just about adopting a stoic lifestyle. It's about reclaiming control over our thoughts, actions, and ultimately, our happiness. So, as we navigate the journey of self-improvement, Let's cast aside these habits that no longer serve us and pave the way for a more mindful and fulfilling life. Let's delve into the world of stress and how we can kick it to the curb, stoic style. Picture stress as that unwanted companion that just doesn't seem to leave our side, and often it wreaks havoc on our overall well-being. So why is it crucial to bid farewell to unnecessary stress? Well, stress isn't just a mental burden. It takes a toll on our physical health, too. It's like carrying around a backpack filled with rocks. The longer you carry it, the heavier it feels. Chronic stress has been linked to various health issues, from heart problems to sleep disturbances. Stoicism teaches us that the key to a fulfilling life lies in managing our reactions to external events, and stress is no exception. Now, how do we go about letting go of those stressors that seem to cling on? One powerful stoic strategy is the art of acceptance. It's about acknowledging that certain things are beyond our control and choosing not to let them dominate our thoughts. If you're stuck in traffic or facing a deadline, accept it for what it is, a temporary inconvenience. The energy spent stressing can be redirected towards finding solutions or simply letting go. Another stoic gem is the practice of mindfulness. In the midst of chaos, take a moment to breathe. Mindfulness is like a reset button for your mind. It allows you to step back, observe your thoughts, and choose a calmer response. 
By incorporating mindfulness into your daily routine, you build resilience against the storms of stress. Stoicism also encourages us to reevaluate our priorities. Are the things stressing you out truly worth the mental and emotional toll? By reassessing and reprioritizing, you create space for what truly matters, letting go of unnecessary stress baggage. In the Grand Stoic Playbook, letting go of unnecessary stress is a key move. It's not about avoiding challenges, but facing them with a clear mind and a resilient spirit. So as we navigate the inevitable stressors of life, let's remember that we have the tools to release the unnecessary weight and sail towards a calmer, more stoic existence. Let's take a look at the stoic take on materialism and how we can shift towards a more minimalist mindset for a fulfilling life. So, what does Stoicism say about the whole materialistic shebang? Stoicism, at its core, advocates for valuing things that truly contribute to our well-being rather than being shackled by an insatiable desire for material possessions. It's like seeing through the illusion that more stuff equals more happiness. The Stoic perspective encourages us to recognize that true contentment comes from within, not from the accumulation of external things. Now, how do we make that shift towards a more minimalist mindset, a mindset that aligns with Stoicism? First off, it's about decluttering, not just our physical space, but our mental space too. Take a look at your surroundings. Do you really need all those things collecting dust on the shelves? Minimalism is about keeping what truly adds value and brings joy, letting go of the excess baggage. Another Stoic-inspired move is practicing gratitude. Instead of fixating on what we lack, gratitude shifts our focus to what we have. It's like flipping the script on the constant desire for more. By appreciating the simplicity of life and the things we already possess, we naturally veer away from the never-ending pursuit of material wealth. Stoicism also nudges us to differentiate between needs and wants. It's about understanding that not every desire is a necessity. By consciously evaluating our wants, we can curb the urge to mindlessly consume and embrace a more intentional and meaningful way of living. In the Grand Stoic Playbook, adopting a more minimalist mindset isn't about deprivation. It's about liberation. It's about breaking free from the chains of materialism and finding true fulfillment in the simplicity of life. So, as we navigate the sea of possessions, let's channel our inner stoic, declutter both our physical and mental spaces, and sail towards a life rich in meaning rather than things. Let's unravel the pitfalls of constantly measuring ourselves against others and how we can shift towards a healthier mindset. Comparing ourselves to others is like setting ourselves up for a never-ending game with no winners. Firstly, let's shine a light on the drawbacks of this constant comparison game. It's a surefire way to plunge into a pool of dissatisfaction. When we fixate on what others have achieved or possess, it often leads to a sense of inadequacy. It's like chasing a mirage that promises fulfillment but never quite delivers. This habit can breed negativity, eroding our self-esteem, and clouding the path to genuine contentment. Now, how do we break free from this cycle? Stoicism comes to the rescue, urging us to embrace both self-acceptance and self-improvement. It's like saying, hey, you're unique, and that's your strength. Rather than viewing others as competitors, Stoicism encourages us to recognize and appreciate our individual journey. By acknowledging our own strengths and weaknesses, we lay the groundwork for a more profound sense of self-acceptance. At the same time, Stoicism prompts us to strive for self-improvement. The focus isn't on outdoing others. It's on becoming the best version of ourselves. It's a shift from a competitive mindset to a growth mindset. Instead of feeling threatened by someone else's success, we can draw inspiration and use it as fuel for our personal development. In essence, the constant comparison game isn't just unproductive, it's detrimental to our well-being. 
Stoicism offers a remedy by steering us away from the external yardsticks and encouraging us to measure our progress against our own potential. It's a journey towards self-acceptance, recognizing our uniqueness, and embracing the pursuit of personal growth without the shadows of comparison. So, as we navigate the sea of self-discovery, let's trade the comparison game for a more stoic approach, one that fosters contentment within ourselves and celebrates the journey, regardless of others' paths. Let's dive into the world of seeking external validation and how we can shift towards a mindset that relies on self-validation and internal fulfillment. Seeking validation from others is like putting our sense of self, worth, in the hands of a constantly changing audience. Firstly, let's explore the impact of this constant quest for external validation. It's a roller coaster ride where our mood and self-esteem depend on the reactions and opinions of those around us. The problem. It's an unreliable source of affirmation. Relying on external validation means handing over the keys to our happiness to our happiness to others. A recipe for disappointment and a fragile sense of self. So, how do we break free from this cycle? Stoicism steps in, highlighting the importance of self-validation. It's about recognizing our own worth and finding fulfillment from within rather than relying on the ever changing tides of external opinions. Stoicism teaches us that true contentment comes from aligning our actions with our principles, not from applause or recognition. Encouraging internal fulfillment means understanding that our value isn't determined by the likes on a social media post or the nods of approval from others. It's about fostering a strong sense of self that isn't swayed by external opinions. This doesn't mean shutting out feedback. It means filtering it through the lens of our own values and priorities. In the Stoic playbook, the journey towards self-validation isn't just a solo mission. It's a powerful move towards a more stable and fulfilling existence. It's about standing firm in our beliefs, celebrating our achievements, and finding joy in the process, regardless of external recognition. So, as we navigate the terrain of validation, Let's steer away from the external applause and focus on the internal harmony that comes from recognizing our own worth and staying true to our principles. Let's delve into the world of overthinking, a habit that often turns a molehill into a mountain. Overthinking is like getting stuck in a loop of thoughts, a mental maze with no clear exit. Firstly, let's talk about the negative effects of overthinking. It's like a mental fog that clouds our judgment and amplifies stress. When we overanalyze every detail, it can lead to indecision, anxiety, and even a sense of paralysis. It's a bit like having too many tabs open in your mind, slowing down the entire system. Now, how do we escape the clutches of overthinking? Practical tips can be our guide. Stoicism offers a valuable perspective here suggesting that instead of getting lost in the maze of what ifs and hypothetical scenarios, we should focus on what's within our control. It's about shifting from overanalyzing external factors to honing in on our own responses and actions. Another helpful strategy is setting aside specific time for problem solving. Rather than letting our minds run on a perpetual hamster wheel, allocate a dedicated time to address concerns and make decisions. This structured approach prevents overthinking from taking over the entire day and helps in maintaining a clearer mental space. Mindfulness, a key practice in Stoicism, is a potent weapon against overthinking. It's about being present in the moment, observing thoughts without judgment. By cultivating mindfulness, we create a mental buffer that allows us to step back from the whirlwind of overthinking and regain a sense of calm. Lastly, embrace the power of perspective. Stoicism encourages us to consider the bigger picture. Will this matter in a day, a week, or a year? By gaining a broader perspective, we can often put our overthinking tendencies into check. In the grand scheme of things, overcoming overthinking isn't about erasing thoughts but about managing them effectively. So, 
As we navigate the maze of our minds, let's incorporate these practical tips, channel our inner stoic, and turn the mental fog into a clear, serene sky. Let's explore the idea of avoiding change and how the Stoic philosophy guides us to view change as a catalyst for personal growth. Avoiding change is like clinging to a familiar shore, fearing the unknown waters that lie ahead. Firstly, the Stoic perspective on change is akin to accepting the natural ebb and flow of life. Stoicism teaches us to recognize that change is an inherent part of the human experience. It's not about resisting the currents of change, but navigating them with resilience and adaptability. By acknowledging the impermanence of situations, Stoicism guides us towards a mindset that is open to the possibilities that change brings. Now, why is it essential to embrace change for personal growth? Stoicism suggests that growth often occurs outside our comfort zones. Resisting change can keep us stagnant, limiting our potential for learning and development. Embracing change is like stepping into a river of opportunities. It might be challenging, but it carries the promise of growth, wisdom, and new experiences. Stoicism encourages us to view change not as a threat, but as a teacher. Instead of fearing the unknown, consider it a chance to discover strengths you didn't know you had and to learn valuable lessons along the way. It's about shifting from a mindset of reluctance to one of curiosity, seeing change as a tool for personal evolution. In the Stoic playbook, change is not an enemy to be avoided, but a companion on the journey of self-discovery. By accepting and even welcoming change, we set the stage for a more fulfilling and resilient existence. So. As we stand at the crossroads of familiarity and change, let's channel our inner stoic, step into the flow of transformation, and allow it to sculpt us into stronger, wiser versions of ourselves. Let's delve into the significance of gratitude and stoicism and explore simple practices to cultivate this powerful mindset. A lack of gratitude is like viewing the world through a dim lens missing the vibrancy of life's blessings. First and foremost, Stoicism places great importance on gratitude as a cornerstone of a content and fulfilled life. Gratitude, in the Stoic lens, is not merely a fleeting emotion, but a deliberate practice. It's about recognizing the value in every experience, whether big or small, and acknowledging the interconnectedness of our lives. Now, why is gratitude so crucial in the Stoic philosophy? It's because gratitude acts as a counterbalance to the human tendency to focus on what's lacking. Stoicism emphasizes that cultivating gratitude is not about denying challenges or hardships, but about acknowledging the positive aspects amidst the struggles. By fostering a grateful mindset, we shift our focus from scarcity to abundance. So. How do we weave gratitude into our daily lives? Stoicism offers practical approaches. One simple practice is keeping a gratitude journal. Each day, jot down a few things you are thankful for. It could be as straightforward as a warm cup of coffee or a friendly conversation. This act of reflection helps anchor your mindset in the positive aspects of your life. Another Stoic-inspired practice is expressing gratitude to others. Take a moment to convey your appreciation to someone who has made a positive impact on your life. It could be a friend, a colleague, or a family member. This not only spreads positivity, but deepens your own sense of gratitude. Lastly, Stoicism encourages us to find gratitude in adversity. Even during challenging times, there's an opportunity to learn and grow. By reframing difficulties as opportunities for growth, Stoicism teaches us to extract gratitude, even from life's tougher chapters. In the grand Stoic philosophy, gratitude is not just a virtue. It's a transformative practice that enriches our lives. So, as we navigate the tapestry of our experiences, let's embrace the Stoic approach, cultivate gratitude as a daily ritual, and paint our lives with the vibrant hues of appreciation. In wrapping up our Stoicism guide for a more fulfilling 2024, 
let's revisit the key points that can shape a transformative year ahead. We kicked off our journey by understanding the fundamental principles of Stoicism. It's not just a philosophy, but a practical guide for navigating the complexities of life. By focusing on what we can control, embracing the present moment, and adopting a mindset of acceptance, Stoicism paves the way for a more resilient and balanced life. We delved into the application of Stoicism in our daily routines. From managing stress to incorporating mindfulness, Stoicism encourages us to infuse these principles into our habits, fostering a more intentional and meaningful existence. It's not about grand gestures, but about small, consistent actions that align with Stoic ideals. We address the importance of eliminating negative habits, recognizing that complaining, procrastination, and constant comparison act as roadblocks to a Stoic lifestyle. By shedding these habits, we create space for a more positive and purposeful journey. Stoicism guided us through the maze of overthinking, offering practical tips to break free from the cycle. By focusing on what's within our control, setting aside specific problems, solving time, and cultivating mindfulness, we empower ourselves to navigate life's challenges with clarity. We explored the Stoic perspective on change, urging us to embrace it rather than resist. Change is not a threat, but a tool for personal growth. By recognizing the impermanence of situations and viewing change as a teacher, we position ourselves for a more fulfilling journey. Gratitude, a central theme in Stoicism, was highlighted as a transformative practice. By keeping a gratitude journal, expressing appreciation to others, and finding gratitude in adversity, we enrich our lives and cultivate a positive mindset. In conclusion, as we stand at the threshold of 2024, let's not merely understand Stoicism, but implement its principles. Let's declutter our minds, embrace change, and foster gratitude. By incorporating these changes, we embark on a journey towards a more stoic and fulfilling 2024. So, here's to a year of resilience, growth, and a deeper connection with the vibrant tapestry of life. Cheers to a stoic 2024.